Hello traders and welcome to tradingwithbill.com. I'm Bill. We're in Thailand. Sunny skies, blue, and uh, getting warm. <laughs> traders, good to be with you on this Tuesday, May 8th. It's currently 7.10 in the morning here in Thailand. It will be 20.10 on a Monday night on Wall Street. Jay's great to be with you. Got some uh, data coming out today. Pretty good day for data today. And uh, let's go over that one. A little bit long yesterday. So I uh, want to try to keep it at that 12 minute, 11 minute mark on our videos. So let's get moving. Um, yeah, we had an FOMC guy speaking. Who cares? Um, so the Aussie um, has in about, I don't know, 48 minutes. We got, uh, oh, sorry, now in 20 minutes, we got um, retail sales out of Australia. Um, for March, month on month and quarter on quarter for Q1, um, China has exports year on year, uh, imports year on year, trade balance, uh, inflation expectations out of New Zealand. This is all happening in Asia today, folks. Um, unemployment rate out of the Swiss. Uh, we'll get into the London session, actually, an hour before London session. We've got German exports, um, German imports for March, uh, German industrial production today for a month on month in March. Uh, trade balance out of the euro, not a big deal there. Uh, another Fed guy speaks again, who cares? Um, Halifax house price index year on year. Um, uh, we have today also EU economic forecast comes out. Woohoo! <laughs> oh yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. Not. Um, Jolt's jobs opening today uh, in the U.S. session. And also... So uh, early in the morning, uh, before I'm uh, at the uh, video, uh, it's electronic card retail sales at New Zealand tomorrow. So we will keep an eye on that. And uh, Westpac consumer sentiment tomorrow uh, coming up. So just keep an eye on that. Dollar index continues to be strong, 92.53. Um, so that's nice. Uh, Bitcoin stays at... Um, $9,380. So just take a look at oil above 70 on the CL. However, Brent oil is at 75.63. Uh, WTI is at $70.10. So all is good on that matter. Let's get to the charts. Let's get to it. And what do we have going on? Oh, I had some gold up. I was uh, in the... Uh, Options market in the U.S. session. Yes, I was looking at gold. So let's take a look at um, this Aussie. Now, this Aussie is taking a dump here, and you know now we're sitting at this seventy-five twenty-four area. And you know, we just really like to see this bump up here and get to this fifty area, and we can sell this again. I'm, I'm, this was a buy here. If you took this, by the way, it looks like this was in uh, the U.S. session. Um, nice move to the upside here. You could have got in this at 74.90. I know you would have been worried about 75, and it did, you know, woggle around there for an hour and a half, and then all of a sudden just shot back up again and uh, went all the way to 75.23, it looks like, right? Uh, 75.30, 75.30 here on that high. So, you know, they could have made some pips on that. So that, that worked out. But this is pretty choppy. It's pretty ugly. But I, I'm i so bearish on the Aussie right now. And I understand it because, of the, because it's a commodity pair and everything is is geared in here. For instance, it's oil or it's steel, you know, whatever's going on, you know, with the tariff thing and all that stuff. So it's all figured in here. And um, But unfortunately, right now, there's nothing to do here. Absolutely nothing to do. It's just sitting here. It's hanging out. It's doing its thing. It's sideways and it's ugly. Yeah, it's pretty ugly, right? Absolutely. So let's take a look at the Great British Pound um, Yen. So this has been like, you know, a slow movie here. Um, this is, you know, you know, spatially you can see that this is absolutely bearish. Oh, the 55 and the 10 EMA are coming in together here. So they're hanging out together. Um, you know, there's really nothing to do here. But I got to tell you, this looks really like... This just looks like this just wants to continue to the downside. You know, you'd like to see a pullback, right? Like to see a pullback to this 200 area. And, you know, at 148.60 or 50, 
we'll take it down and then if we get back down to this uh, we can you know we'll get back down it's okay if it goes down to 147 80 you know we're way in profit pips in the pip bank everything is good um, leave it alone but at this point there's really nothing to do here but I do see that there is a this just looks first of all this doesn't look like this wants to even give us a pullback um, it'd be nice but you know what we can do we can just make this box here we'll just range this out a little bit here of what we're looking for so like this is your range here in this in this box right you can see we're right in the middle here here's massive support here here's resistance over here and uh, you know yeah so we'll see what happens with that not very interesting right um, we will keep an eye on the New Zealand and I know for the last couple of days we've been saying it's pretty ugly um, let's see what that chart looks like yeah nothing going on here Again, let's box this. Um, I think it'll just make it easier for us later, but, you know, here's our range. Uh, let's get that guy out of here. There we go. Um, see if we can get here. But, man, look at all this left of the chart stuff. I really don't want to deal with this left of the chart stuff. This is just a mess. There's no wide open spaces here. You can get bounced around. You know, it's like being on a 20-foot sailboat and you're in, you know, hurricane waters in the Atlantic Ocean. It just doesn't go together. So, uh, yeah, we'll stay out of that. You know, the euro dollar just continues to absolutely um, plummet. <laughs> absolutely plummet. Just continues to go down. Hits a level, comes back up. Hits a level, comes back up. So let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Let's just get rid of that. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Uh, we can bring you down. Let's bring you over here. Oh, yeah, this, you know, when this makes the turn to the upside, and it will, when it makes a turn to the upside, we'll see that the dollar is weak. Right? This thing, these pairs are all just moving with the dollar. It's just moving with the dollar. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, but this just, again, looks like it's just continuing to the downside. I found it very hard this week. To get into trades, I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm not getting entries, I'm not getting points where I can get into entries, um, and I'm just having a hard time getting in. And these these pairs just continue to drop and just continue to drop and drop. And there's nothing I can do. You know, I'm I'm not going to force myself into something and then find out it's going to reverse on me and head back up. They've got to pull back. They've got to give me an an, an entry that is reasonable. And I haven't found any. I have not found any. You want to look at a funny pair. <laughs> <laughs> here's our dollar yen right this is dollar yen right absolutely like hitting that support area here there we go right you know just coming down here which would tell you that that that, that basically means um dollar weakness right but we don't have dollar weakness folks <laughs> there's no dollar weakness this is a strong yen at the moment here. But, yeah, like like this is stuff that would confuse you. If you're watching the dollar index, then you came over to the dollar yen and you saw this, you say, well, William, the, the dollar is weak on this dollar yen. Yeah, but it's not. The dollar is not weak. The dollar is doing very well at the moment. And we'll just keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see anything out there, folks. It's a, it's a Tuesday, but we have a lot of data today. Hopefully get stuff moving here. We just need... Just need some, I don't care which way it moves. I just want it to move, right? If it goes up or if it goes down, just want it to move. Just want volatility. I want it to move. Get some trades. It's time for that time of the dollar index. Dollar index still on this move to the upside here. Nice, nice move to the upside. A little bit down here, right? It's coming up on this support level. However, I wouldn't worry about anything. This just is in this range that we placed here. A couple of days ago, it's still in this range. It's the up end of this range. Of course, I don't trade the dollar index. I use it as a tool, right? So we're at 92.66. Do we see 93 by Thursday? We'll see what happens. Got a lot of data coming out today. See what the dollar can do. Jerry, thanks for being with me on this Tuesday. I'm pretty 99% sure. I'll see you tomorrow morning in Asia. Jerry, always remember to trade smart, not hard. We'll see you tomorrow. Jerry's have a great trading day. Bye-bye now. See you.